we can see and hear the endless energy of the ocean. Ocean waves could produce up to 20% of the world's electricity consumption. How can we convert wave power into a commercial energy source? What's standing in our way? The biggest challenge is designing devices that are strong enough to survive violent storms and at the same time produce enough energy to pay back the cost. Wave energy converters today are still too large and expensive, which has prevented commercial harvesting of wave power. The High Wave project presents a new solution to wave power generation. It emerged from Kik InnoEnergy innovation projects which helps innovative ideas in sustainable energy to make the transition from lab to market. Core Power has developed a compact, high-efficiency wave energy converter inspired by the pumping principles of the human heart. The highway devices include three key inventions within driveline and control technology. First of all, we use a pneumatical pretensioning module that allows a lightweight system with a high natural frequency of oscillation. Secondly, we use a method called phase control to get these buoys to oscillate in resonance with incoming waves. This strongly amplifies the motion and allows a large amount of energy to be absorbed using a small buoy. So this amplified linear motion is then converted into electricity using a new type of pneumechanical driveline located inside the buoys. The key component here is a cascade gearbox with a unique design for high reliability and effective conversion of linear to rotating motion. These smaller, lightweight units have low inertia, optimized for amplified motion from phase control, giving very good survivability. They offer important economic savings in operation and maintenance costs. Compared to current wave power technology, high wave converters with buoys can deliver more energy per tonne of device. Drawing from the offshore wind power farms, the wave energy converter has also been designed for wave farms, where dozens of units can be combined to enable mass production at a lower cost. Extensive testing has proven that the unique control method works reliably. Prototypes have also been tested in the most severe storm conditions that occur on the Atlantic coast proving good survivability. The company behind the wave converter, Core Power, has established a robust business model that will facilitate market entry, thanks to the combined support of other Kik Inno Energy project partners. Iberdrola Engineering and Construction decided to join Core Power in the High Wave Consortium because we think the design of their wave energy converter may become an interesting player in the near future of the wave energy sector. We are applying our experience acquired in the last year working in the offshore wind sector to develop or to define the technical specification for the export cable and for the mooring system. As well, we are thinking about what is the most convenient way to do the deployment of the equipment in the sea and all the logistics involved. Ocean waves have a higher energy density than wind or solar power. They are more stable and more predictable, making them easier to optimize in terms of power outtake and production forecasting. High wave technology will be a significant game changer for how we perceive the future of wave power. <laughs> 